guys so today I am back with a haul because it's back to school time there's new clothes and it's fall and like fall although I'm always depressed that it arrives I do totally fall into the pit of buying all new clothes for it there are some pretty good sale stuff too um, not that I necessarily got any of it but yeah let's just get into it so my haul is from two different places today. One is Free People, the other one is Forever 21. Now I notoriously always say the opposite one because they sound similar I guess in my head, but they're very different. So I'm gonna start with a couple things that I got at Free People. This was all from their new like actual in-store collection. And the first thing that I got is this leather jacket. So I actually, have never owned a leather jacket before. I may not keep this one, I'm not sure. This is a vegan leather, so it's not a real leather. Um, and yeah, it's called like the Knit Vegan Leather. So they have a famous fake leather jacket. This jacket was 168, so that's the price of their normal one. And it has this nice kind of knit detailing. So where I am gets pretty cold in the fall time, and then they have a very long winter, so Jackets are something that I don't often buy, but that I definitely could use a wider selection of. So getting this one was a pretty nice one to me, and I like that it kind of has that knit detailing on the inside. So that way it's unique, but it's not something that in a year or so I'm going to get tired of. I bought my first sweater in August. I mean, that is just crazy to me, but this was just too cozy to pass up. It's basically a huge cardigan in a gray color and it goes to about my knees and there's really nothing special about it it might be a somewhat itchy fabric but it's just so cozy and it just reminds me of pictures that people post that are super instagram worthy where they're like snuggled in bed in a cardigan with a cup of coffee and all that you see is like the end of their trailing cardigan and some cream colored high socks and that's what that reminds me of but I'm going to be wearing that like on a daily basis. So it's not gonna be pajama wear, it's going to be everyday wear. Next up, something that I was kind of torn about getting, but like I couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy it either, was this faux leather mini skirt. So faux leather is a huge thing right now. They have faux leather leggings, faux leather jackets, faux leather skirts, and I bought a faux leather mini skirt because why not? And it was $78. Um, this was kind of snug on me. Some people that I talked to in the store said that it ran kind of big on them. For me, this ran really small and tight but I just thought that it was a really nice piece and you could tuck a shirt into it and make it cute. You could wear it out to dinner or keep it really casual and wear it around during the day. The last free people item that I got is another jacket because like I said, I've been obsessed. This is like borderline jacket, borderline cardigan. I'm not really sure, but it's this amazing white plaid jacket. And I mean, it's huge. It's just so free flowing, but the pattern on here just made me fall in love. I mean, it's white, it's plaid. That is me in a nutshell, and I just love it. There are no buttons or anything on it though, which I was kind of bummed about, but I think that's going to be something really easy to wear, and like I see myself using that way into like February, so definitely love that jacket. Moving into the more affordable part of my haul, I do have some stuff that I got from Forever 21. I didn't buy super exciting stuff from Forever 21 because I find that the more stuff that I buy from Forever 21, the less amount of time that I actually wear their stuff and I tend to wear the select pieces that I have from there much more frequently than I do when I buy like a whole wardrobe from there because honestly their stuff just falls apart way too quickly for me. One of the things that I got there, something that I have been looking for everywhere and I mean like I've looked at Urban Outfitters, I've looked at Free People and then I finally found it at Forever 21 because that's how my life always works out and they're jogger pants. So jogger pants are like the sweatpants that um, are tight at the ankle and I typically hate these but they've started to come back in a way where they look really cute if you style them well. So I don't know if I'm going to style them well honestly because that's not necessarily my forte but I'm going to try and I got them in this cool heather color. I've seen some really cool ones where there's like detailing down the side. I don't know these might turn more into like 
sweatpants kind of things where I wear them only around my house, but they may end up coming into my actual wardrobe, which is what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed I can pull off sweatpants in my daily life. Now I also happened to go into Forever 21 when it was one of their student teacher discount days, so I got 15% off of everything, which was one of the main reasons why I actually even went in in the first place because like I said, oftentimes their stuff just falls apart on me and I get really frustrated and then I never feel like going back honestly. I went to their sales section because it happened to be like floating in the middle of the store that day and they had some athletic shorts floating around. These are just a pair of their black yoga shorts. Yoga shorts are my favorite to work out in because they don't move all over the place and they stay in place. And yeah, um, so these are just plain black ones. They have a little zipper on the back and they do have a tie detail, but I don't think that I'm ever going to use that part of it. But yeah, you can never have too many yoga shorts. And Forever 21 athletic shorts are just where I go to get my athletic shorts because they're cheap. I can buy a ton of them and I wash them constantly so it doesn't make sense to really buy expensive ones when ones that are $12 hold up really, really well. I am a huge proponent of wearing just the toe sock thing because I wear a lot of low rise sneakers so or vans and things like that. So these are just the no show socks from Forever 21. They're set of five they were five dollars can't beat that price anywhere they'll probably fall apart in like two wears but I mean technically I got it on a discount so you know say la vie I don't even know what say la vie means I mean I do know what it means but yeah I shouldn't really be saying it that much I got a scarf because I'm obsessed with scarves I didn't bring any with me when I moved in because it's not cold yet it's still 90 degrees outside and I'm even sweating while filming this video just because it's so hot but this is just a black and white plaid scarf which goes with my black and white plaid jacket so this one was $12.90 it was by the checkout counter in one of their giant plastic bins, but I mean, I'm just a sucker for big scarves like this, and I love plaid ones because I'm obsessed with plaid. I went through this phase of my life for about five years where I wouldn't wear any plaid, and now I am obsessed. Like, it is one of the main things in my closet. I have like 10 plaid shirts, three plaid scarves. I wouldn't be surprised if I tried plaid pants at some point. I mean, honestly, someone help me. Now the last thing that I got, because I've still been decorating my room here and there, is something from like, I guess you'd call it their home line, but they don't really have a home line. It's just this little dish. And it kind of honestly reminds me of like a cigarette tray where people would like put out their cigarette butts in. Hopefully you guys have never actually seen someone use one of those because smoking shouldn't really be a thing anymore but it still might be and I still see th these there but this one I think and what I'm going to use it for is to put rings in because I'm a huge ring person I have rings everywhere and I just put them places so hopefully by buying this one which has the cute little gold triangles and gold is a huge face of mine right now um, I'll actually put them someplace and know where they are and not lose them like I constantly am so that is everything for this haul video. I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys have been doing your back to school shopping and tell me what you have bought or what your favorite store for back to school shopping is. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!